I can have my vest on. If I'm facing someone, I'm standing. And they teach you, you're standing, you talk and you interview. But then when they come against you, then I have certain things I can use to withstand what's coming against me. Amen. I don't run as a police officer. I take a stand. Are you hard? Are you going? I go into a position where I'm ready to fight. Come on, somebody. And so therefore, it is understandable that God has given you something and it's in the word of God. Somebody says in the word of God. Yeah. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's in the word of God so that you can be able to stand. I don't want to just tell you you're able to. I want to show you how you can stand against the enemy in your life, whatever you're facing right now. He's going to use ignorance. And he's going to use our own humanity against us. He's going to help us to think ourselves into our own traps. Yes, Lord. He's going to help us to analyze everything because he knows that's what we like to do. Amen. 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 They say that they were. They say they got my back. They say they'd be with me. They say they love me. But what? So we're we're, we're sitting there trying to understand those. Well, anybody getting anything out of this? Amen. I mean, you know, you know how you get people that say they walk with you, run with you, you look around, they ain't there, won't know. Because you know why? It's not built on. It is written. Mm. On, it's baby. built on what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, all right, I move forward. Okay, here. 14. Stand there for having what? Your loins girt about with truth. What? And having on the what? Breastplate of what? The breastplate covers the major organs in the body. Amen. So the word of God, if you put the armor of God on, it protects the major organs in your spiritual life. Are y'all with me? Let's look at verse 17. I got to get here. Verse 17. It says, and take the helmet of what? Salvation. Say that when we take the helmet of salvation. Helmet, symbolic salvation. If you get to the head, the snake dies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you need a helmet. That's what they did to Jesus. They got the shepherd and his sheep scattered. But that's, that shepherd didn't die. That shepherd got up from the grave and sitting on the right hand of the Father right now. And let's look at this. It says, and the what? Sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. here's what I to Here's what I wanted. Here's what I want to get to. Write the scripture down. You can take it home and read it. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, brother Robert. That they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We read that <coughs> no weapon formed against you shall prosper. We just read taking the sword of the Spirit, for it is the word of God. Are you hearing me? Here comes the devil. The devil not only use the ignorance, but the devil will use it is written too. Yes. Because when he was tempting Jesus, yes. he came to right. Jesus and says, is it not written? Yes. Luke 4, uh, Luke 4, I would say, Luke 4, I have it written down, so you can, so you can go to the right scripture. Hallelujah. I want, you, I, want you to, I want you to be able to go to this. Luke 4, 9 through 11. Luke 4, 9 through 11. Turn there real quick with me. I'm, I'm going to get through this. I said I'm going to get through this, but I want us to really get this. Because the enemy not only use ignorance, he will not only use your human mind, but guess what? He will use the word. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But if we don't know the, the word, word it, it mm -hmm. if you don't know how to use, you know, they've taught us to how not only to use the gun, <coughs> But to protect the gun you have. Yes. Come on. Because the gun you have can be taken from you and used against you. And if you don't know how to protect that which you have, mm -hmm. that tells me you don't know how to use what you have. Mm -hmm. okay. Do we have Luke 9, 4, uh, 4 9? Amen. All right, all right. Melinda, read verse 9. No, no, Tanya, read, read you know, you have Okay, and Melinda, read verse, verse 9 for me. And he brought him to Jerusalem uh -huh. and set him on a pinnacle yes. of the temple. This is the devil. Taking Jesus, he's tempting Jesus. And he takes Jesus to a, a pinnacle. Go ahead. And said unto him, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from him. Go ahead. For it is written. Did you hear that? He took Jesus to a pinnacle. He says, If you be the Son of God, cast yourself down because it is written. It is written. We know. He shall give his angels. Uh -huh. To keep thee, uh -huh. and in their hands 
Uh -huh. They shall bear thee up, least at any time thou dash thy foot. A lot, a, a lot of people don't realize that the devil will tell partial truth yes. in order to use it against you yes. to be disobedient to the God that you're serving. Yes. And if you're not reading your word and allowing the word to read you, you will take that and say, oh yeah, that is the word. He came to Eve. God hath not said you yes. shall die. But he did say you should know good and evil. He told partial truth, yes. which is really a total lie. Yes. The part that he kept down, Joel, is it says that, uh, uh, that that his angel shall keep you, not Psalms 91, 11, that he shall keep you, but it says he shall keep you in all your ways. Mm -hmm. He left that part out. 